Salamanca Place is one of the oldest areas of Hobart Town. When I found this photo by Beatty, I just loved it at first sight. G'day and welcome to Forgotten Tasmania. I'm John Stevenson. It's signed JWB, so I assume this is from the period when Mr Beatty worked for the Anson Brothers, before he bought the business and changed the name to Beatty Studio. I'm really proud of my restored version, but it's time to get out of the studio and get on site and see what I can see. In all honesty, Jim had already recreated this photo before I got to the site, and luckily he did it on a weekday, because you can't get a clear shot down here on a Saturday. Well, at least you couldn't in the past. The pre-lockdown day that I went was quite clear, and I got a good view along the street. Jim told me where the spot was, so doing the photos then and now was quite easy. Jim lined up his photo using the chimneys. I zoomed in on this particular chimney because I used to work for Albatross computers in this building, underneath that very chimney. In the Beatty photo, the Salamanca Fruit Market building isn't there because it wasn't built until 1901. That reinforces the date on the photo as being in the 1880s. I like the Turner building because they have a 6 metre mural of mine on the wall, just inside the door. And I have fond memories of Wooby's Lane, because there used to be a really good wine bar there, and I spent a few too many nights out. There's plenty of art galleries and the historic Kelly Steps. Plenty of places to eat, some institutions and some newcomers. I'm done exploring now, so it's back to the office to start the research. Luckily an old friend of mine, Shane Roberts, is helping, and I can't wait to see what he's come up with. Catch you in the next episode. Cheers!